Hello everyone, my name is Sanjeev Gimire. I'm a developer advocate at IBM. Uh, you can follow me at my Twitter handle uh, Sanjeev Gimire or also check out my projects at github.com slash Sanjeev Gimire. I also have a blog site where you can check out uh, interesting articles uh, about the emerging technologies uh, at sanjeevgimire.com. So today we are going to learn a step-by-step -step tutorial on creating a server-side Kitura based application. So for this you need a uh, following installed into your uh, computer. So you need Node.js. Uh, if you don't have Node.js you can go to node.js.org uh, and download and install uh, Node.js into your computer. You need, uh, you need also to install Yeoman generator um, and the generator that uh, the Swift server uh, team has generated is called Swift server and the generator will allow you to generate the application very quickly and let you start uh, implementing your uh, business logic very quickly. So now let's create our server side project using the generator. So you can hit yo uh, which is the yo man uh, command line code. Um, you can select the generator which is uh, Swift server. So this will ask a uh, series of questions and at the end of it, it will generate a server-side Swift-based application with a lot of things pre-installed. Uh, let's go through the series of questions. Let's call our project test project. Um, that's yes. So we want to generate a CRUD-based application because we'll be creating a model object in, in the next part. Uh, we want to have all these uh, good things that uh, comes with the uh, generator. We don't have a file, so we'll say no. For the database, uh, we can either use memory or or any kind of other database like MySQL, CloudDump, CouchDB, Oracle, or anything that you uh, are comfortable with. Uh, in this case, we're going to use memory. Out scaling. So now it's generating. Uh, our source code uh, that is uh, necessary for our uh, Swift based applications. Um, it does take a few seconds to generate the application. The generator will create all the necessary code required to run the application. It will download necessary modules like Kitura, Helium Logger, Logger API, Swifty JSON, uh, Swifty metrics, and so on that is needed in the server side code. Once the build command has been completed, you can now uh, create model objects that will carry data from client and server. So still creating all the modules and compiling them into your project. Okay, the Swift build command has been completed. Um, this means that it has already created or generated uh, the application code for you. So now you can go into your test project uh, and you'll see all the necessary code that has been generated into your application. The next thing we want to do is uh, we want to create a model object uh, using the generator itself. So for that you run your mm, Swift server model It will also ask you a series of questions again to generate the model objects. So you can type in your model name, uh, for example, test model, test models, yes. So the property name, let's say we have a property name called name. Uh, let's say it's in a string, it's a required field, uh, there's no default. So let's say we'll create just one property for now. So now it's generating your model objects and all the necessary APIs that goes with the, with the uh, model object. Uh, it, will, it will create uh, a get API, a post API, a delete API, and a put API. So now um, your uh, project has been already created with all the necessary modules and you also have generated a model object. Let's now open the project in Xcode and run your application.
As you can see here, the project has generated the source code. All the generated files for your model object are in the generated folder. As you can see, it has a test model with proper property name that we have defined while generating the model is already being created. The Swift also has a Swift package manager to manage depend dependencies. You can see that it already has uh, the required dependencies installed already and you can add on top of it if you need to add any other model to your Swift server application. The application.swift has code to initialize the routes, configuration and run the application and the main.swift file is basically responsible for running the application uh, and initializing before running the application. So let's run, uh, let's build and run this application. So the build has succeeded and as you can see in the console that the application is, is running and is listening on port 8080. So let's let's go to the browser and see what uh, what it has in port 8080. So this is the default home page um, uh, of the, the Kitura application. It lets you know that it's a Kitura based server uh, and it's up and is running. You can, you can also see API definition using Swagger uh, on the URL Explorer. You can also expand these APIs and directly test it out here. Let's test out the post and get API on the model we have created. The post will create the data in memory and when you invoke the get API, you will see the persisted data. So basically you can expand the post API uh, and create your own uh, data here. Let's put one as an ID and test one as the data and let's test this out. So basically you see that uh, you're sending um, the data in the request URL API slash test models and the response you get back is uh, ID1 name test1 which is exactly what we have uh, sent to the server and the response code is 200. This means that the uh, API has successfully uh, successfully executed uh, our post request. So in order to, in order to uh, make sure that this data has been persisted uh, into our memory, uh, let's, let's invoke our get API to make sure we get the data back. Let's try it out. So basically the request URL is uh, API test models uh, with a get request and as you can see that you are getting a list of uh, test model objects and with ID 1 and name test 1. This is, That is exactly uh, the data that we have sent earlier uh, using a post request. So this is basic, basically the Swagger uh, UI uh, which gives you all the definition of APIs in your application. You can also see the Swift server met uh, a dashboard call with the URL which can be accessed through the URL port 8080 slash Swift metrics dash. So here you can see that um, here you can use this dashboard to monitor HTTP requests, its throughput, memory and CPU utilization based on, you know, based on your, your uh, Swift server. So let's let's see how it works. Let's let's send another post request uh, just to see uh, what it uh, what the uh, Swift metric dashboard gives us. So let's say this is a test two and ID two. So you see that it's a two hundred request response, and now you can see that uh, your incoming request uh, graph has some spikes. The throughput has some spice, so it gives you your average response times, your CPU utilization, and your uh, memory uh, footprints. So this is the end of the demo tutorial on the server side Swift using Kitura. I hope you have liked it, and if you have any questions or concerns, please put it on the comment box below, and I will try to answer as best as I can. Thank you.